What's up, guys? I'm Captain Willie. Thanks for tuning in. Real quick, I want to explain to you how a two-stroke outboard ignition system works. Okay, I have these components here that I want to share with you um, and explain to you how it all works. Um, if you want to figure out how to diagnose your spark problem with your outboard, I recommend watching um, one of my other videos. I'll put a tag up here at the top that's uh, how to diagnose a no spark. Um, so let's go over the components real quick and then uh, and I'll explain to you what they do and how they work. And then you can watch my other video and then you'll know what to do. Okay. This is a CDI box. Don't let it intimidate you. It's it's pretty much just a box. This is a stator. This mounts to the top of the motor. So does this. Um, this is basically an alternator. Okay, it's just it's just pushing out voltage. Okay, that's all it does. Is it makes power. This is a trigger. It attaches mechanically to your throttle linkage for advancing and retarding, and it has wires coming out of it that connect to the CDI box. So this connects to the CDI box on this side. This connects to the CD, CDI box in between the coils. And the coils connect in between the trigger wires. So trigger, stator, CDI box, coil. You know how that works. So this thing puts voltage into this box. The box now holds voltage and it wants to release the voltage to your coil so that your coil can release voltage to the spark plug. But it can't unless this says it can. So a two stroke outboard doesn't have a camshaft. And because it doesn't have a camshaft, it can't rely on mechanical timing. So it has to rely on electrical timing. And that's what this component does. When the engine spins, it sees, this is kind of like a, think of this like a crankshaft position sensor, which is exactly what it is, but a little bit more complicated. It, it knows where your motor is at as far as number one top dead center, number two, number three, number four top dead center. Um, it knows when to send voltage to here to release voltage to here. Notice my diagram. Fancy drawing, I know, took my time on it. Stator, the alternator, making voltage into the CDI box. CDI box wants to release the power to the spark plug via coil, but it can't unless the trigger says that it's at top dead center for a particular cylinder and a particular coil. So you've got a coil here and a trigger here, a coil here and a trigger here, a coil here and a trigger here and a coil here and a trigger here. Okay. So all this power is coming into here. It wants to see the right signal from the trigger in order to release the voltage to the coil. That's how it works. Pretty straightforward, pretty simple. You got juice coming in. The juice needs to get to here. It can't unless it's at top dead center. And this is what tells this that it is. Thanks for watching, guys. Um, if you want to figure out how to diagnose a no spark situation on your outboard, I recommend watching this video right here. This is the next video uh, is a little bit more complicated, um, but it's going to be talking about trading trigger wires for other trigger wires to figure out where your spark problem is coming from. Um, basically, all you do on an outboard to figure out a misfire or figure out a no spark is you're going to be using this to your advantage and using this to your advantage in order to component test. You know, like, for example, switching coils on a car or even on a boat. Say you've got a misfire on cylinder number one, you want to see if it's the coil. 
trade the coil for cylinder number two. If you now have a misfire on cylinder number two instead of cylinder number one, bad coil. Same thing going on here. In order to determine whether or not you have a problem here or here, you're going to use this to your advantage in order to move some wires around in order to see where the misfire travels. Same sort of thing. So watch the next video and you'll uh, and you'll figure it out. You can. But you need to figure it out so that you don't buy the wrong part because these things aren't cheap and you don't want your wife cutting your head off. All right. Thanks, guys. Don't forget to subscribe.